In some parts of Cold Spring, just south of Lake Livingston, the water is still too high for folks to return home, forcing some residents to rely on the kindness of others. That kindness coming in the form of two brothers and their drone. You want me to cover it? Can we see it? Uh, yeah, yeah, so this is exactly what I was trying to tell him about. Everybody wants to see what's going on. Right place, right time. Brett Foise was just about to put his drone in the sky when this man pulled up. His concern, whether or not his home was underwater. Oh, there's a house back here underwater. Probably that one. Is that your house? Foise and his brother co-founded Drone Bros. So before the flood, we did aerial photography and real estate photography. And then we started doing like telemetry data, LIDAR scans and stuff. And then uh, we've just kind of grown from there. I think every month we evolve into something new and now they want to, we're like storm chasers in a sense. So it's pretty, it's, it's definitely devastating. You see a lot of face to face with the, with the people who have lost everything. Um, and it's a little bit heartbreaking. They share what they find on their social media pages, videos just like this one. I've seen hundreds of them <laughs> at this point. I've taken pictures and we post everything to Drone Bros uh, via Facebook, all, all socials basically, TikTok, uh, Instagram, YouTube. So we post everything we can out there and we just throw it out to the world and let them see. The plan is to simply help others figure out what kind of condition their home or belongings are in. The drone making it possible to get into even the most difficult places. It's the right thing to do. So uh, we, we get back to a lot of the community with uh, the companies that we own here in this town. These people need help and if we can help them, we're going to. And that's just part of us, who we are, who we are as Christians. So we go to First Baptist here in Livingston and we, we devote a lot of time there, so we devote a lot of time to our communities and I think the surrounding areas too. And to put things into perspective for you, the Huntsville Municipal Airport just west of Lake Livingston has recorded nearly 16 inches of rain over the last five days. That's the second highest five day rainfall total the area has ever recorded. The most was during Harvey, which dropped more than 19 inches on Huntsville over five days.